I was around maybe 17 when I discovered free jazz and uh, free improv. Uh, first of all, as uh, only a listener, then uh, I have a very good friend and collaborator uh, since, uh, who is uh, Sharif Sahnawi, guitarist from Beirut, who said, uh, I have a trumpet, do you want it? Uh, I said, yeah, sure, and it started more as a joke. I mean, I never thought I will really arrive to be a musician because I started just wanting to play free jazz very loud and uh, for two years this is what I did and then uh, little by little I got hooked somehow to this thing and uh, I became much more serious about it. So I started to investigate um, how to, m instead of how to play the, the instrument, how to make it play what I want to play. So uh, to investigate a new language or a new vocabulary let's say. Uh, discovering new sounds or new ways to produce sounds on the trumpet. And then, of course, after developing the vocabulary for four years, let's say three or four years, uh, came the time to invent a grammar to use this, uh, this vocabulary together. Uh, so it took me maybe five, seven years to arrive to somewhere where I felt I'm having a language for the instrument, a personal language for the instrument. and. Uh, from there, I started to play uh, with other improvisers, but also f uh, always from from the improvising uh, door. I mean, I, I went to music to play improvised music and. Uh, I really like the fact in improvisation that there is uh, as much musicians as people on stage. So if we are five, we are five musicians. There is no leader. Um, somehow the music we produce is the natural leader of the group and there is no uh, clear instruction. So everybody is responsible for the failure or for, for, for uh, uh, how to say it? Uh, I mean, if the music is good or bad, it's the responsibility of the five persons uh, in the thing, and I like a lot this collaborative uh, uh, way of doing music. As a visual artist or com comics author and a musician, it has been always a question for me: how can I do uh, visuals in 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 performance uh, in a performance style or thing? Uh, it took me maybe ten years to discover a very simple, very basic way of doing it because I always wanted to avoid. Uh, to have a camera and then we see my hands and then I draw and then I'm drawing, I'm drawing, I'm drawing and then I finish the drawing. So this is where it exists only when it's finished and then I remove it and do another drawing. So the idea was to arrive to a point where I could draw or paint in real time as uh, uh, like really like music, so the drawing doesn't really exist, it's always alive like music. So music is not this moment in time, it's music is, is time passing by us. My interest in time is on various levels. Of course there is the first interest and the biggest one most probably, which is time as a, as a theme or as a, as a fact. So it's time passing by uh, from our birth to our death. That time passing by is taking us, of course, to our end. And uh, uh, I think uh, for a non-believer like me, it's really, it's really the only thing I would believe in. So, uh, uh, or it's the only fact that, that, that really exists. So I'm very interested in this. Uh, Sometimes I use it a lot in, in, in my comics. It's clear that I'm interested in the theme and you, you can, you can uh, follow it or, or understand it. Of course, in music or in painting or in live drawing, it's very difficult. It's, and it's a different um, relationship to time. So it's time passing by in this specific medium. And in music, as I said, it's really time passing by is, is music somehow. So. Um, so I'm mostly interested in how to fill this time. Uh, of course, there is a space that you fill with music, but space is somehow, I don't know uh, how to explain it, but somehow a secondary problem for me. I mean, a secondary time is really the most important thing. And how to fill this time uh, with music is one thing, and how to fill it with drawing is something else. Uh, the music is is born for me and the audience in the same time and specifically when, when it is improvisation we go back to this, to this thing where I'm creating the music in real time so 
it didn't exist before and it's just existing now and it won't exist after. Of course, it could exist on recording, but this is another story. It's not, it's not the specific time where it was created. Most of my work is on preparing the trumpet, so it's really with big extensions and it doesn't sound like a trumpet and it doesn't look like a trumpet anymore, so it's hold uh, upside down or something. Um, I think this I did, I developed this by being very jealous of guitarists and pianists who could really easily prepare, like when I see a pianist or a guitarist putting a screwdriver between his... Uh, between the uh, the strings and then just moving it and, and making a crazy sound or taking a fan or a propeller and so I was very jealous. It took me years to understand that the trumpet is is very easily preparable somehow. Well, in the beginning I would say, oh, I have a very austere thing and there's just one way to blow it. It's not even like a saxophone where you have many many options of opening it and, and closing it. It's just closed all the time and uh, unidirectional and then you have just three options or or all the combination of these three uh, valves uh, then of course when I begin to discover how you could extend it it's really it opened a huge world for me um, which uh, led me to what what I like to do most so of course you rarely hear uh, uh, trumpet sounds I mean sometimes there is a couple of notes but you barely hear them sometimes I would play a whole solo with no real note of a trumpet and fortunately because I'm not a good trumpet player so it's it's good that I, I don't play this I think there's many people who do it very well uh, my research is always and has always been uh, towards sounds uh, that that sound electronic so uh, many people also when they hear my solo or uh, especially my solo because they understand it's only a trumpet uh, they do not believe it's not uh, it's not amplified and then uh, with pedals or with effects it's effectless. So all the effects are done acoustically and when I say, when I try to describe what I do, I would say I play uh, electronic music but acoustically. Mm -hmm. 